My guest is Candace. Candace, why are you here? Hi, Steve. I'm here because I want to confront my boyfriend. I've been with him for two years. I'm five months pregnant with his child, and we go through physical and verbal abuse with each other. Um, I'm tired of his lies. I believe that he's cheating on me. And, um, I mean, I I'm tired of, of everything we go through. He hits me. He slaps me. You know, he chokes me. And, and why does he do that? He feels like he, he owns me, and he can do whatever he wants to me. I'll, I'll just ask you a simple question. Are you cheating on him? No. Okay, so you, you've never cheated on no. him? No. Um, even if you did, I wouldn't condone him hitting you. Um, <laughs> how long have you been with this guy? A little over a year, maybe a year and a half. And, and how long has he been hitting you for? It's been on and off for the past three to four months. Why do you stay with him? I stay with him because you know I'm, we're about to have a child together, and I believe yeah. But that if he's he keeps hitting, you might not have a child. I mean, isn't there some kind of motherly instinct that says, you know, I got this baby growing out in me, and. If somebody's hit me, I gotta do everything I can to protect this child, I better get away? Yeah, I, I say that all the time. And then, it, you know, I make excuses for him. As soon as he does something good, I think, okay, you know, it's gonna work out. And then it goes right back to, to hitting it and... So what you're telling me is he started hitting you after you became pregnant. No, it, was, it started before. It did you know, start But before. it wasn't as bad. It was, you know, it's, it's So it got worse now that you got a child growing inside right. you? Who, who, who does that? Oh, I'm going to step up the violence now because you're pregnant. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You're here today for what? To confront him about him cheating and about him hitting me and what he's going to do about his child. Now, he took a lie detector test before the show. Um, I guess I'm, what I'm asking is, 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 is he, is he going to deny the physical abuse? Of course he is. He's going to blame it all on me. And um, what if he passes his lie detector test today? As saying that he's not cheating? Okay, that's good, but there's still a fact of him hitting me, and that needs to stop. All right, so, Candace, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to bring him out, talk to him, and then at some point we'll bring you back out, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what she does. My whole clothes is destroyed. I don't have no clothes to go to work, church, anywhere I want to go somewhere. She destroyed my clothes. I have doctor bills that she fractured my arm with a bat. She hit you with a baseball bat? Yeah, she went with a baseball bat in my sister's house. In my sister's house. And why'd she, why'd she hit you with a baseball bat? Because she always claiming I'm cheating on her if I go to the store or something and, and it's my neighborhood and I know everybody in my neighborhood and they'll stop me, Gerald, come on, let's talk for a minute, woo, this and that. If I go in for an hour, she, she saying I'm cheating on her with some girl around my neighborhood. You live way on the west side, I call you every day, every single day. Are you from Chicago? Yes. Oh, okay. And like I told her friends, no, I told um, her father and um, the rest of the people she messed with, I told her she need to be controlled. She need to have counseling or do something because I cannot deal with that abuse. And it was one so, incident. So I, I, I guess I'm hearing the whole show wrong. She, came out, she comes out and says, Gerald, uh, let me read this again, that you choked her while she's pregnant? I had choked her, but I just put my hand, one hand on her because at the same time, she, no, y'all don't understand, y'all don't understand so these was, West Side it was, girls. it was a one hand choke. Yeah, yeah. And that's better than a two-hand choke? No, it's the, it doesn't make the fact, though. But You know as, she's pregnant, right? Yeah, I know she's pregnant. I know she's pregnant, but... Now, I, let, me ask first... you, let me ask you. You're telling me that you can't walk away from this woman? If I walk away, if I hold on... Hey, no, hold on. If I walk away, ain't, it's no walking away from her. I've been trying to leave her since um, about three months ago. Three months ago, I'm like, what we should do? Because I want to leave you because I cannot stand this abuse. My mom and grandma said, y'all need to break up because every Aren't time she come over Aren't you ashamed that you choked her? Yeah, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. She should be ashamed. She put me to the hospital calling police up on me. For what reason? And she doing it. And this is the woman that you love? I love her to the death. I love to the Yeah, the you probably will love her to death. <laughs> yeah. 
Did you throw her down on the ground while she was pregnant? Um, mm, probably, probably I did, probably, probably I, I, I did so, yes. Why did you do that? Because at the same time, I'm spending a whole week with her, and it's all embarrassing, she like, just like she said, I'm telling her, go home, because I'm gonna hang with my friends now, because I spend a whole week with you. She calling me all kind of names, I'm, like, I'm not gonna go nowhere, you finna stay with me, and this and that, give me your bus card, because you finna go see another girl on our anniversary. And so I'm telling her, go home, go home, go home. So she keep hitting me, and, and, my, um, and my friend is the witness. Keep on hitting me, so, you know what I'm saying? So she called the police on herself, so she got arrested. She, but I ain't pressed charges, though. She but, called the police on herself? No, she herself. called the police on me. She called the police on me, though. She called the police on me, but my friend was the witness, so she had got arrested. I'm just telling you, you cannot stand up here and make me think for one second or try to justify your actions. I don't care what that woman did, and if she hits you, she's wrong. She's as wrong as anybody else. Nobody should be hitting you, no, sh nobody should be touching you. But while the moment that you found out that she's pregnant and maybe she couldn't control herself, then you should leave and stay away until that child's born and cause no harm to it. That's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, stay as far as, we, stay as, far as way I can stay from her. I, I mean, I hear, I read here, it says you were, gonna upset, you were upset that she was gonna have an abortion. No, she, no, first of all, she did have an abortion. She was pregnant with my twins at first. She did, she did, she did. So she went behind my back and got and rid of And that made you mad? Yes, of course it made Pissed me mad. Pissed you off? Yes. If she did something, aborted your twins that you said that she was gonna have, and it made you so mad and it pissed you off and she didn't discuss it with you, why'd you lay down with her again? Because I love her. I do. I really do love her to the bottom of my heart, but I can't keep going to this abuse. It sounds like you're causing a lot of abuse to her and your child. And you think this is a relationship that either one of you should be bringing children into the world? No. Exactly, then, no. Then why are you? I don't know that question. Aren't, aren't you more responsible than man? Yes, I'm very responsible. No, you're not. <laughs> you took a lie detector test before the show, but not that I even give a damn. But are you cheating on her? No. Okay. Not. I don't care about that, anyways. Uh, Chris, who's Chris? I don't know her father. Well, he happens to be here. Oh, really? He didn't know anything. What are you gonna do? He didn't know. Uh, he didn't know anything about the abuse, and he's been watching backstage. Let's bring him out. You know what I'm saying? What's that? I'm with that. You put your hands on my daughter, man. Oh, daughter prick, no, me. Oh, daughter put me hey, in the hospital. You put your hands on my daughter, times, come on, man. Come on, come on. Hey, you got to be crazy, man. You got to be crazy. I don't get down like that, man. You got to be crazy, man. I talk to you, man. I talk to you. And you put on there and act like you was innocent? I am. You put your hands on my daughter while she's pregnant? Your daughter, man. Your daughter crazy, just like you Man, you put your hands on my daughter while you're pregnant? Say what? Hey, Gerald. You don't really want me no, like no, that. No, no, you don't want me like that. No, no, no. Straight up. No, no, no. You don't want me like that. You can't do this. Straight up. I'm letting you know now, well, that's Chris. That's a good thing. Me and her is through. That's a good thing. I don't got okay. nothing to do with that. You might be exactly. through, but, but you always got to in your relationship, though. You Why? might be I come through your relationship. I ain't never said that to you. Why you come to my house? Hey, listen to me. You might be through, but you, are you going to be through with that little girl that no. you're bringing into the world? No. So then you're never going to be through. No, you don't be through because you don't take care Understand that you have hurt me far more, but you just stand disrespected my daddy. Did you see how hurt my daddy was? My daddy didn't even know what we go through. I accepted because I expected you to change. But you, I don't even want to look at you because I can't even believe you disrespected my daddy like that. Your daddy, your daddy's disrespecting me all the time. It don't matter. My daddy is uh, 20, 30 years older than you. So that. what? That don't mean nothing. But you, what you mean? It don't mean that. You can't manage no, yourself. You know what? You know what? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do that. So listen, this is what I want to say. Don't do that. He should always walk away and never put his hands on you. But the one thing that you can't do, and you can't do it either, you can't contribute to the violence. You cannot put your hands on anybody. You can't be taking baseball bats and breaking his arm. That's the problem. 
we have this big circle of violence. It keeps going on and on and on. And then this happens between you. You're abusing him. He is abusing you. Then your father gets involved, and he's upset. And then he's going to go after uh, Gerald, and then Gerald will get mad. And when does it end? Until somebody's dead? So my thing is, uh, you know, if you ever have to put your hands on either one of you, that, that means get out of the relationship. It's not working. Okay, we're going to start with you first, Candace. And you were worried that she was cheating on you, right? Yes. Okay. Are you currently having sexual intercourse with anyone other than Gerald? You answered no. During the course of your relationship with Gerald, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone other than him? And you answered no. Have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Gerald during your relationship? And you answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Any, uh, any reaction to that? Okay. What am I supposed to do, jump around? <laughs> Gerald, are you currently, he was, uh, took a lie detector test before the show, and it was asked, are you currently having sexual intercourse with anyone other than Candace? And he answered no. And the results for that is that he told the truth. So he passed the question. Then he was asked, in the last eight months, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Candace? You answered no. Have you had sexual intercourse with more than three people during your relationship with Candace? You answered no. And the results for those two questions on your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. Man, I don't believe that. Does it? But here's the here's the question. Does it really matter? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. She knew. She knew. The good thing is you got a father that seems he's very passionate about you and cares about you very much, right? I hope that. Whoever raised you sees the copy of the show, sees tape of it, and straightens your ass out. Because I'm sure they're not going to be proud of the things that you said on this stage and the things that you say you stand for. And the last thing that any of us need is a guy like you running around causing havoc to women, running around the streets, abusing babies. You can get the hell off my stage. <laughs> Dad seems like a really good man. Go with him, take his advice, and remember, don't ever, ever, and you, I'm telling you too, don't hit anybody, don't let the anger get the best of you, think about your child, but don't ever let a man put his hand on you, ever. Okay? Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Good luck with your pregnancy, okay? I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.